Hello everyone. So in this video we will create our own python modules and packages. So as you know modules are just .py files and packages are the folders which will contain all our modules related modules and one file that is underscore underscore init then underscore underscore dot py so let us try to create our own modules then we will create our own package so i am creating my modules inside one folder that is i am going to create now i am creating a folder with the name my code Let me increase the size of folders. If you can see this is my code folder. I will create my codes inside this folder. So let me tell you what I am trying to create. I am making a calculator where I will make different modules for different functions like sum and multiplication. I am currently using two functions here. So I will create two modules sum and Another one is multipli multiplication that is MUL. So first we will start with creating sum.py. I will edit it in sublime editor. Here I will create def sum summation function which will take two parameters num1 and num2 and return sum of these two numbers num1 plus num2 so this is simple module which has one function summation and it is taking two parameters and returning the result that is sum now I will create another module that is mul.py I will edit this module inside sublime editor I will create multiplication that is again take two parameters num1 comma num2 and return the result that is num1 into num2 so these are two modules and third module I will create my Kelsey calculator what this module will do this module will import these two modules and will use it so like you import python modules you can import you can create your own modules and then import and then you can use your own modules so let us try to import my module import sum import mul so these two modules you can import it by just putting comma here this is also valid i am doing it like that so that you can see both modules I am importing. So I have imported sum and multiplication. Now let us try to call sum dot summation function and see whether it is working or not. And mul dot multiplication. So this is my calculator module so now let us run this I will run this module and see whether it is working or not so you can see that my modules sum and multiplication has imported to another module Kelsey so likewise you can use 
your own modules by creating them and you can use it in your code another code also you, this is very important that you can share these modules with with somebody and they can use your code so every time whenever you uh, you create your code and if you are able to modularize it create different modules for different functions and then you can share your code with your friends or somebody they, so that they can use your code by directly importing your module now let us try to make this calculator more interactive so i will ask user to give me choice when he gives a choice before that i will tell him what are the choices enter one for sum two for multiplication fine here he will give his choice then i will check if c equal to equal to one then i will call sum dot summation function why i am calling sum dot summation because summation function is inside sum module so i have to specify from which module i am calling summation function then if c is equal to 2 then i will call mul dot multiplication as you can see i am giving the hard coded value these values also i can take from user and i can create else wrong choice so this is my one interactive code this will this will be more interactive than my previous code so let us try to run it again i will open it in ideally then i will run this code so it has run successfully for some i will press one enter number one i will give five then i will give six oh so it is not returning the result why it is not returning because i am not printing the result i was just calling the function now it will print the result as well we will run this code again so now it is returning me the result the same way you can call another function and you can work on that as you can see i have three files these three files are interacting each other I have created Kelsey file. This file is importing other two files, MUL and sum. And MUL is and sum is having one one functions that I am using in Kelsey file. Kelsey file is not having any function. I am importing MUL and sum and calling these functions by MUL dot and sum dot. So these are all related files. So as you know that inside packages i can put this file and i can call that package and import that package as a whole so we have created this file under my code uh, folder so this my code folder will be considered as a package when when i create one file that is underscore underscore in it then underscore underscore dot py so this is one empty file as you can see this is empty file there is nothing in it but python will know by seeing this in it file that this is a package all the modules that means all the dot py files which are inside this folder are related so let us try to import this package as whole so we will go to our desktop and as you can see this is my code folder so we will create one program here here we will create a program dot py file where we will write our code to import this package this thing you should remember that wherever the package is our program should be in that folder only so in this case 
we are on desktop so our code as well as our package both are on same folder in same folder that is desktop let us try to import my package that is my code we are trying to import this line only let us try to run it whether it executes successfully or not as you can see this has ex executed successfully there is no error that means i can import my package now inside my package there was three files i will import kelsey file because this was my main file which is a calculator which was importing those two files sum and mul so i can import this file myco.kelsey and i will save it and then i will run it and see whether it is importing or not it is saying no module named sum why because now everything is in uh, my my code package so this sum will also be inside my code package so my this file program.py this is unable to find the sum module because it is searching sum module inside desktop but there is no sum module inside desktop my sum module is inside my code function so i will what i will do for these two modules i have to do my code because these two are also inside my code package so this is my code and inside that mul and sum are there let us try to run it again yes it has executed successfully now i am importing my package and it is running my kelsey code why whenever you import any package and if it is a executable code that code will directly be executed since there was no functions just code was there you can see my kelsey.py this is a sim simple coding if anybody import this kelsey.py this code will automatically runs what import does import imports any module if it is a runnable code then it will execute that if it is a function then it will run that and it will create some objects inside memory so whether it is working successfully or not let us see i will give choice 2 and give number 5 then number 5 oh it is again saying something name mul is not defined see what is happening okay so i am doing mul again here so we have to give my code dot mul and here also my code dot sum then again we will execute so now we will give 2 and we will give 5 5 so now it is working so you can see i have created a package and i am importing that package directly i am not importing modules now i am importing the package inside package i am importing that kelsey module directly so kelsey module is running directly let us try to make this module as a single function one more thing if you want you can change this as alias so let us make it s and m so we will change this to s and we will change this myco.mul to m now also it will work what now we will do we will change it to a function calc calculator what the program was doing this calculator function will do now try to run this code as you can see now nothing is happening why why because this line has executed kelsey.py but kelsey.py is doing nothing it is it is creating a calculator object inside the memory so this line has executed 
and created a calculator object inside the memory so i can call that calculator object how can i call by this my code dot calc dot calculator now you can see my calculator function is working it is returning 10 here also you can give it as alias as a now i can call my function a dot calculator fine if i run it then it will work as same you can see this is running my calculator fine so this is my package my code where i have three modules Now let us try to open python command prompt and we will see one more interesting thing. So this is my python command prompt. If I want to import math module I can directly import it. If I want to import pandas package I can import it. It is a big package so it is taking time see it has imported but if i want to import my package that is my code package it is giving there is no module named my code so what i will do to import this my code my code is on desktop so this is my code so what i what i will do so that i can import it from anywhere so I have to go where the python is installed we will go to the location this is again shortcut so I will go to the file location so this is where my python is installed so as you can see there is lib folder inside lib site packages are there so inside this site packages all the python packages are there so that you can import these packages directly from anywhere so i will paste my package here this is my package my code now let us try to import it so as you can see my code has imported successfully so if i want to do my work from anywhere i will import my code dot cal c s a then i will call a dot calculator this is my function so as you can see i can work from anywhere i will open my uh, command prompt or i can work from jupyter notebook or i can work from pycharm or i can work from anywhere and i can import my package so this is very interesting you can create your own package and put it into site packages folder where inside python where python is installed inside lib and then site packages so this is my site package and this is my folder my code this was my package i i have copied this into site packages folder so this is it for this lecture, thank you.